right, welcome to another video with Furnace Tech. Uh, today's video, we're going to show you a close-up view inside of a check valve. I have two different styles. One is flared and one is threaded. So let's take a look. Um, the inside should be identical, uh, just the connections themselves are different. Okay, so this is the plug on the top. As you can see right here, we have a spring. There's a little valve. We also have this little O-ring right there that seals right on top. This little plunger goes down inside here where the valve seat is and seals it up that way it doesn't leak. Whenever the burner shuts off it prevents any fuel from going back to the tank. Now we have we have an arrow on the check valve so the fuel goes this direction and if we look fuel goes in the bottom there which is underneath which is the bottom of this little plunger and the plunger pushes down so no fuel can go through this little port and come out through the other side here. So you can see inside, I'm gonna put this plunger back in and you can see where it goes inside. Let me see if I can drop it. There you go, and as you can see, it's, you can see it inside. But when these go bad, you just replace them. You don't try to pull it apart. You never use any kind of Teflon tape on any of the threaded fittings on um, fuel oil lines because the Teflon tape can get stuck inside the fuel lines and plug up the fuel pump return line and build up too much pressure and it can blow out the seal inside of your burner and then it can cause a fire. So that was just a quick tip. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll have many more videos to come. Thank you very much for uh, taking the time to watch it.